Oba is still missing. We still want to find him. We will find him and he'll be okay. If you say anything, please let us know. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. I know you can see all of this, but focus on me, right? Ignore all of that. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lola Day. If this is your first time seeing me on your screens, today I'm going to be telling the Greek myth about Aphrodite. Do you guys know who Aphrodite is? I say Ivory. <laughs> if you don't know who Aphrodite is, she is the goddess of love and. Hey, oh, hey? have I forgotten my script? I'm back with a makeup and mythology video. I think this is like episode four. The last one I did was Medusa Zone. I am going to be talking about Aphrodite and her sneaky link. I need to stop talking. So let me just stop talking. I don't know what look I'm going to do, but I want to do something shiny. Stick with me and we'll do our makeup. I want to impact you with knowledge that you do not ask for, but still knowledge regardless. You're welcome. I'm going to start the video now. Can anybody tell me who Aphrodite is? 10 marks for whoever can tell me who Aphrodite is. Aphrodite is the goddess of love and beauty. 10 marks to Gryffindor. Thank you, thank you, Hermione. Hermione is smart. Be like Hermione. I have my book. I have my book. It's so pretty. Let's open our books to page Aphrodite. So everything I'm going to be telling you guys today, feel free to fact check me so that like I'm not giving you wrong information. So I don't say it in a mean way because that's not nice. Be nice, be nice. It's nice to be, be nice. nice. So Aphrodite is a goddess of beauty and goddess of love. So according to Hesoid, I think that's how to pronounce it. Hesoid is a Greek poet. There are a good number of Greek poets actually. There are obviously different sides to it. Like, different people have different perceptions of what happened, what went down. So according to Hesoid's tale, in his Theogeny, that's the name of the book, she is said to have been born from foam. The foam was created when Kronos cut off Uranus' genitals. After the war, after their fight, Kronos said, okay, that's that's for you. That's the end. And cut stuff and threw it into the sea. And I think that's cool. I mean, imagine just being born from, from foam. In some places, Aphrodite is referred to as the goddess of sea and seafaring. So that's because she was born from the sea. And then like, to some other people, she's like the combination of two Middle Eastern goddesses, Ishtar and Astarte. Then according to Homer, his own, his own is different. He believes that she's the daughter of Zeus. And her mother is supposed to be then Dione. Dione is a consort. They believe that Dione was before Hera because normally Hera is Zeus's wife. She's the mother of all the other gods and goddesses. Hey, oh shit. I just made a mistake. Mistake. Dione was a daughter of Oceanus and I don't remember who her mother was. So Oceanus was a father, I know that one for sure. So basically, Aphrodite, she's goddess of beauty. Obviously, she's going to be very beautiful. Beauty is subjective. So however you see beauty, that's on you. But like to each of the gods, she appealed to all of them collectively and individually. So she was the most beautiful woman on earth. When she got to Olympus, Zeus, hmm, Zeus knew that she was going to be wild, she was going to be a problem for everybody because her beauty was enticing to everybody and it was just going to cause chaos in the family. Because you know how they used to marry each other and have yeah Zeus was not attracted to her. So he decided. So in some in some stories, it's Hera that decided because Zeus too was part of the people that were attracted to her. Let's just be safe and say he and Hera so decided that okay, well, Ephaestus. Ephaestus is God of forgery, blacksmith god, fire god. Yeah. If you remember, I don't think I've told I have in the my favorite by my very first video, I spoke about him because I, I went into detail about all of them, I believe. He's very good with his hands, very good with fire, very good with metals and eh, everything. He was also thrown out not once, not twice, but ten thousand times. Not one, not two. Out. Joking, joking, joking. It was just twice. He was thrown out of Olympus twice. The first time, Hera threw him out because he was too ugly. <laughs> she felt like he was too ugly for her and he was dis she was disturbed by his ugliness, so she threw him out. And the second time was for a family quarrel. I don't remember what the quarrel was about. Why don't I remember? I don't remember what the quarrel was. Okay, okay, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I think the second time was because he came with gifts 
for all the gods and goddesses and like he still had like hate, not hatred like he had animosity towards Hera for throwing him out the first time when he came back with gifts he came, the gifts was like thrown for the gods and goddesses each god or goddess had their own throne Hera's own it was like a, a it was it was it was a trap so I don't remember if it was squeezing her or something, but she just could not move from her throne. That was his own punishment for her. Yeah, so Zeus sent him out again. Why are you doing that to my wife? You know? Why are you doing that? Anyway. <laughs> People didn't like him because he was ugly and he was crippled so they did not like that he was not perfect like the rest of the gods I, I don't know i feel like that's terrible like your own child you carry the child for however long you carry this for since you're a goddess and you just said bye bye back to sender like why take care of your child take care of your child so they sent him out the second time so this time they gave aphrodite's hand in marriage to Ephesus. Ephesus. Is this how I pronounce it for? They gave Aphrodite's hand in marriage to Hephaestus and Hephaestus, Hephaestus, anyone, him, Sha, she basically did not have a choice. It was to settle quarrel amongst all the other gods and like the family split in her past because of woman. You understand? Don't die. Exactly. Period. They got married. But do you know what? Of course, she was not attracted to him because that's literally the ugliest god out of all of them. And she did not want that to be her husband. They charged Hephaestus with the job of what he was he doing. He used to make armor and weapons for the gods and soldiers and Olympus, yeah. so that was his job basically and yeah like i did not see any problem with that but she used to feel lonely because he was not always there i guess she did not have that work home marriage life work cut the cameras dead end work life balance he did not have it apparently so she was suffering at home do you know what she did instead of talking to her husband about it instead of instead of saying honey please come darling we need to speak we need to talk she don't do that though she has to go and carry her eyes to be looking at other men other men her brother-in-law in particular as in your husband's brother the the your your husband's brother so aries is the god of war if you don't remember go and watch my other video to remind yourself picture this your aries and you just go back from like war and like most of the other gods did not even like you to begin with but, like nobody used to fight you because how do they want to beat you up so you just go back from war and like you are all bloody you are sweaty and then you see one beautiful girl she's married to your brother your brother's wife she comes up to you and she's like oh come let me help you clean off the blood on your body like i don't understand do you people find blood attractive because i don't know i don't know i don't know she found the blood on his body attractive that girl that's so weird oh blood <sighs> i don't understand blood is is riling you up <laughs> so Aphrodite she didn't see anybody else except except who her brother-in-law and that's how they began to sneak around you know as the youth would say sneaky link with her brother-in-law is that not crazy anyway I guess people do it quite weird you know but to each to each his own after that whole blood thing they started linking it would be at nice like when you know Hephaestus works a lot and like, he's never really around so she always has like all the time in the world to do whatever she wants to do with Ares and then Hephaestus comes back later yes so this time aries was scared of helios helios is the personification of the sun he's an amebo he was scared that he would see them and go and cast you know start talking about it tell everybody as he should because shame on them yes i am judging them what aries did was that he put a guard in charge of aphrodite's room so whenever like he was entering it was aphrodite's matrimonial bedroom that they were going to go and do nonsense and they were going to go and adult <laughs> commit adultery can you imagine the disrespect anyway he put a guard the guard's name was electronics oh, sorry <laughs> no electronics electrion the guard's name was electron he put electron in charge of watching out for helios so whenever he thinks helios is coming he would tell Ares. and there's this other god hypnos hypnos is the god of sleep after Hypnos put Electron to sleep, Helios came, he saw what was going on. Electron was not awake, so he could not wake Ares up when it was time for them to wake up when they saw Helios approaching. So what happened was that Helios came, he saw them, they knew, like they woke up and they saw that it was morning and Ares was vexed, he was pissed, he was like, what the hell? In fact, for this, Electron, I'm going to punish you. And then he turned Electron into a rooster, yeah. into a chicken. As well, like, whenever you see the sun, you wake up and you shout, you cry, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's how Helios went to go and tell Hephaestus that, okay, oh, guy, my guy, let me tell you what's happening. Your wife, Aphrodite and Ares, they're hooking up. They're sneaking around. I think you should do something. I don't know what you want to do, but I think you should do something. Hephaestus did not believe him. He was like, Aphrodite could never be her. But do you know what? It was her. He didn't believe, but then he still decided to set a trap for Ares and Aphrodite. Like, just in case, just in case. He was doubting her anyway, sure. He now created this type of net. The net was so thin, so finely made that, like, it looked invisible. But that's how thin and tiny it was. He hung it above here and Aphrodite's bed. He told her that okay, he was going away and that he won't be back for a few days. That one was like, yes, in her mind or in her mind. He was like, yeah. In fact, go for two months. I'm I'm fine. As soon as he left, she called Aries to come. As they're fornicating and adult uh, committing adultery, the net fell on them and it's cut them cut them they like boom they could not move they were they were locked they were locked in <laughs> Hephaestus came in and then saw that actually true true his wife is cheating on him with his brother like is that not crazy but she had fuming and then he went to call all the remaining gods because he could not believe his eyes all of them came they saw these guys what, what are their names again um Hermes and what's that one's name Apollo Apollo is the god of the sun Eh? Apollo, Apollo has to do with sun now yeah, or day or something or sky I don't I, <laughs> Hermes is the messenger of the gods this was an argument at the back that eh, wow you caught your wife and your brother cheating and your punishment is to put both of them in the same place together lock them up so that they cannot move so that they can spend more time with each other like that must be a punishment oh my god like they were so sarcastic about it and everybody started laughing and it obviously got to him he collected his bread price back from zeus but i'm not doing it again no come and carry your daughter take her and be going please i don't want aries could not have gone scot free just like that never he also paid a fine for committing adultery <laughs> to top it off aphrodite and aries they now had like three children <laughs> They had three kids. Like, just imagine your wife and your brother. They are having an affair. And they did not go ahead to now have multiple kids. Not one, not two, but 10,000 children. That's actually crazy. So they had three children. Phobos, Phobos, and Eros or something. <laughs> they had Harmonia. They had Phobos. They had Delm... <sighs> hey? Delmios or something like that. And they had Eros. Some people say that. Some stories, they say that, that Eros's father is not Aries. Anyway, that's the one we're going with. The father being Aries. So, like... They broke up and everything went back to the factory set. Aphrodite was single again and she had children. They had other lovers. These ones were even like earthly people. They were like, and, 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 Antisis. Antisis. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'll put it. Like all these names are so confusing. I should have probably like typed it in and tried to translate it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Him, Sha. He was a Trojan shepherd and Aphrodite and uh, Charles' name was Aeneas. Aeneas. Like Phineas. Aeneas. Aeneas. And then Adonis. Adonis is a hot. <laughs> Adonis was a hot boy, like a young gin. I think Aphrodite got him like when she was when he was young. Like I read something and he was they were like that. Aphrodite gave gave Adonis to Persephone and Persephone now too became fond of him. Uh, like uh, they were sharing him when he was alive he would spend like a quarter of the year with Persephone another quarter with Aphrodite another quarter by himself however he pleases then when he died he did something and then Artemis Artemis is the goddess of war Artemis now killed him with like a bull or something or a ball I'll get into that story another time she blamed him for what happened and sh she killed him then he was now like bound to the underworld because once you die you go to the underworld now Aphrodite could not exist like that so she went to go and plead with Zeus like please oh please I beg this boy anybody or stay them but this boy just leaving for me <laughs> they came to an agreement and then it was like adonis would spend half of the year in the underworld and another six months with aphrodite i think that's fair i don't know what do you guys think i mean now with my makeup so that's how adonis lived his life thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it entertained you do you like this look i mean i think the look is beautiful i, I actually am really feeling it i hope you think it's cute too and my hair oh my god i'm too cute Picture, picture, thumbnail.